Yo, hey, what's up, guys? Today I want to talk about Helicaf and how OP he is. You can use him in different stages of the game, but I'm gonna show you how to use him in Sand Devil for an unkillable, in Clan Boss for an unkillable, and also an Iron Trin unkillable, all with the same speed, stats, and everything is just the same, and you can make it work. First, I'm gonna show you the stats. He's 280 speed and focused on more defense than HP because his shield comes from his defense so I went for defense and I went two speed sets it's all about the gear and a couple of them are not even leveled up and so the skills right now I got mine my, my shield without the skill on the cooldown if you can make it work it's great it is better to have it like that but you don't have to it's okay if you feel fully booked that guy it's okay just go whatever you want to the masteries uh you don't have to notice like that one or us <laughs> the most thing we have to is war master yes you can have war master in every single comp of that because sand devil is kind of complicated sometimes but i got a comp made, made it work and you want the hp right here it's important for clan boss because you don't want him to get stunned and yeah with with that one right here with the match max hp plus it counts as a as a buff so you have basically one more buff than other guys so the clan boss won't attack you so I'm gonna show you first Dungeons Iron Trains. I'm gonna make one run. <laughs> you can watch it and I'm gonna explain you why. It's a basic painkeeper. Three times painkeeper plus helicap and a DPS. In my spot it's Geomancer. And I'm gonna show you the speeds, don't worry. And yeah, every time Helicaf has a block damage up everybody's safe and those pain keepers will just decrease the duration uh, decrease the cooldown of helicaps block damage again and you have the whole time block damage no no problem those pain keepers should be unleveled you don't have to put your effort in it so they can all be ranked 3 no problem but they need books those pain keepers i think you can just book the a2 or A3, the skill which resets your cooldown and you're good to go. And <coughs> in my comp the good thing is that Geomancer right here, I can put it in my clan boss team too. So I have less worries about who to take and stuff. The one, the one is pretty quick, Geomancer missed his burn. And it's I think like 2, 3, 4 minutes long. I forgot, I do it every day, but I really don't care. It's just auto and let's go. And that's what we want. Y you want to press the auto button, just the start button and everything is okay. And every comp of mine is just auto. Just press the button and you're good. So, the, the most damage comes from Geomancer. I highly recommend Geomancer in this comp because it's just the quickest. You can use someone like Septimus or what's his name, Armiga. Just take whatever you have and you're good. It just takes longer. So nice, around two minutes. So, wait, I can't go in there. No. I gotta go in another dungeon to show you the preset. No problem. The preset. Of course, we got a helicaf. You, you can just copy the priorities, and of course, 280 speed for helicaf, 221 for geomancer. Then all three painkeepers. <coughs> they should be 216, but I took one 217. So I know this for myself. Which one of them goes first? So I can set up those presets a little bit easier those have both the same preset 
and that one is a little bit different but with those speeds you, you can clear every stage of iron prince every day 100 percent don't worry now let's go on clan boss where are we there so this works on ultra nightmare and nightmare brutal i think it does not work but I think you can clear Brutal with, without unkillable and stuff like that. So right now I just took a couple champions which I know works and yeah they just have like no gear or just the gear they need to do their work. The preset, you have to do two presets, one for Ultra Nightmare and one for Nightmare but it's full auto, both of them. So you can call 221 speed on Geomancer of course, it's the same Geomancer from Iron Trend. I put Tatura. You can use block damage with 3 turn cooldown for for 2 turn duration or any other champion who does the same. There are comps, that, that's basically just a 1 to 1 comp so you can fit in a, a Doom Priest or you can just use another one with just block debuffs with 1 turn duration. but I think you have to, to take one stun, one of your DPS's have to take the stun, but you can also use those block damage characters, not block damage, block debuff characters. Helicaf of course 280, wait what's his speed, 190 speed on Tatura, 195 on Frozen Banji, she's just there because she's a good character, I took off of course her a too, because nobody should use it in clan boss and we have <coughs> excuse me Ugo I just took him because he had the right speed and I had <laughs> I don't have to change anything and those are the char characters we use but I'm gonna also show you the nightmare setup it's same characters but just I think yeah on helicaf you have to do it a little bit different just straight out copy that one you're good and this, all other champions are basically the same so I will go into it for a run but I'm gonna exit out after afterwards because I have another unkillable team which is basically better but yeah <laughs> so you have to take one hit from the boss without any protection but the first hit is, is not that hard and from that point uh, you are unkillable you can take whoever you want just the block debuffs or a doom priest for spirit affinity is highly recommended in, in my team right now Tatura is actually really nice because every second rotation he does his skill where he puts out like what's it called perfect veil on the whole team that means he is also sometimes the stun target so every second rotation they change from the usual stun target to tatura and it's nice but if you maybe you don't want that and just take off the a3 on tatura and we basically have a just one to one where helicaf takes two turns sometimes team and it's unkillable we all know it but it was kind of tricky a little bit because we have to get those speeds to 280 and make everybody the perfect speed around him but I did it it's great I'm gonna exit out now because I don't want to waste my key <laughs> guys I'm gonna show you a helicaf unkillable team with Ninja, Crimson Helmet. Crimson Helmet, I guess you can use Light Swan. Um, we got Road Painted. She is necessary in this comp. Tatua, Rhyme Height. You could take another champion with 3 turn cooldown and 2 turn duration of block debuffs. And Helicaf, it is full auto. I'm gonna show you the preset. You can sneak peek the, the speed. So 
so I just simply copy that one. I don't know how tight those speeds are. I have a hundred percent runs because everything works out perfectly, but I don't know how tight those speeds are. Maybe you need to go really close or you can twiggle around a little bit, but that's how the presets are. And of course that's with Ninja right now. I'm gonna do another comp with normal DPS. It's no problem. So we go in. The team is gonna revive on death. And they stand up, block damage. Ninja has blocked damage for two turns. Tatura has blocked damage for two turns. What I mean with two turns, I, I mean two hits. The other three guys, they do not have So we go in, we, all, we had block damage with Ninja and Tatura. Now we have a shield on Ninja and Tatura where the third hit is about to happen. That means basically Ninja and Tatura are unkillable. You can just throw damage sets on them, that's no problem. So they, they stood up, block damage. You get the counter to 3 down, Ninja comes in and does his burn, exactly 3 hits. That's awesome, because the, the most damage comes, comes from Ninja and Brimstone. And I highly recommend Brimstone, at least the level 1 on Ninja, Make, makes it much easier. And yeah, this is just how it goes. One of those good things is... Helicath can have War Master, Ninja can have War Master, Tatura can have War Master, Crimson and Road Painted not. Don't do it. it, it messes up your run. Don't, don't put any counter attack master resourcer on them. Okay, technically it's not working because block damage, but yeah. Don't do any extra stuff or so, no turn meter increase master resourcer. And you're, you're good to go. It takes around five to seven minutes. Maybe quicker. <laughs> Depends on the brimstone. And what I really like is because Helicaf is on 280 speed. That means he can be in my Iron Twin team. He can be in my Sand Boss team. And also I have a comp with, for clan boss, so you can just use the 280 helicaf and build a team around him. So he is in really good spots in my, in my collection. <laughs> That's awesome. That comp right here is based around Hell Hades, the Mipha unkillable team. I just threw in a helicaf, triggered around a little bit of speed and I tried here and there without Tatura, just two DPS, it works, but it sometimes fails because of the decreased speed. And in this team right here, Tatura and Ninja, they never get decreased speed. The only three are Helicaf, um, Crimson Helm and Road Painted, they can get decreased speed, but it doesn't matter the combination, like whoever gets the decreased speed and whoever does not, they never will fall out of turn. So it's 100%, I did like 70, 80 runs, never failed, there's no possibility in this team I guess to fail, there's no 3% resist or something. If you hit a de decreased speed or something, while well, you have like 80 accuracy, <laughs> it's not gonna happen. It's gonna do it the whole time. Road Painted is necessary in this team because she does the heal, she, des she destroys the max, max HP destroyed and also does one hit. That means the counters on 3 so we can break the shield with Ninja, with his, with his burn, does 3 hits. And the turn meter is just about to get full, but Tatura comes in and does one block debuffs. I, 
I could make it a little bit quicker. My my ninja was built like with a lot of HP and yeah, the things you, you have maybe. I don't know if you have to, but I put my road painted in Regen and Immortal set, so he she just does more heal and yeah. But I don't really know if you have to, but I just did it because yeah, just to be safe. So boss is never gonna heal, we are never gonna have max destroyed HP, and we go from round to round, and every time the boss is sleeping. You try to burn him and get a brimstone in. Now it's called a smite. <laughs> Afterwards, I'm gonna show you the whole set. Maybe it's it's super tight, and you have to get exactly the same speed. I don't think so, but maybe. Can't promise, but we will figure out more stuff for you guys out there. So don't worry. Also, I will do another comp with a regular TPS like a husk or something. I think it, it will take much longer, but it is possible. You guys can do it. If I can do it, you guys can do it. <laughs> so, ah, six minutes. A little more. Come on, get get the smite in. Get the smite in. He got the smite in. <laughs> yeah. Six minutes. It, it's for me a hundred percent. It never failed. N nothing. Maybe if, if the program crashes or something. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I'm gonna show you the set. So, Ninja. 202 speed you can go just damage damage sets you, you are unkillable in this team with ninja so but you need the ac accuracy of like i think it's 520 or something then you're good to go a 280 helicaf and you need decent hp and a whole bunch of defense because your shield is from your defense so go more defense than HP. Tatura can just go completely on damage. We got 198. Yeah and just go damage, accuracy or something doesn't matter. Just don't worry about it. Road painted. <laughs> Hell hate is <laughs> his favorite character. <laughs> We got a speed of 223 and she needs to be stacked on HP. Just speed and HP matters. And region gear and immortal just to be safe. I don't know if you have to but just why not. If you tested it and you, you can say it doesn't just let me know. So and crimson hammer. 273 and yeah he needs good amount of HP defense he also needed because he's not uncoupled the whole time but he, he just ha has has to survive one hit so again ninja he's unkillable Tatura unkillable he can he only takes one hit he takes one hit and he takes one hit so it's not you don't have to be too tanky just try a little bit around and i hope i could help you out a little bit and you guys have fun with your helicaf team and enjoy your day <laughs>